Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMasida.com and who's LloydMasida.com? Today is the 28th of, uh, 28th of what? October <laughs> 2014. The time is 1.54 in the afternoon. Now, I just want to address this issue about uh, Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan and Amir Khan, the three most prominent actors in Bollywood. You know, if you actually look at their movies, uh, Salman Khan is always beefed up and buffed up Shah Rukh Khan appears in all these movies showing his six pack or whatever, eight pack abs. And then you have, um, what's his name? Uh, Amir Khan, who appears in uh, the trailer of PK with uh, an amazing physique, which he also showed in the movie Gajni. Now, people have this misconception that these are, uh, you know, natural bodies. These are hardworking people, really hardworking people who have developed these natural bodies. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, which uh, for the fans of Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan and Amir Khan, they would not be very happy. And obviously, they're going to give me their Hindi, Pindi bad words and uh, threats and unwanted comments, which is OK, because you are uneducated and you're stupid. Um, however, for the educated uh, lot, you would understand what I'm saying. Now, you need to understand first and foremost is Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan and Amir Khan are nearly in their 50s. Okay, or they're coming close to 50s. Now, these are uh, really intelligent people. They, um, they are without a doubt talented. They are very hardworking and they're very focused and disciplined. Okay. Um, at the same time, you need to understand that they are very busy individuals. They have a they have various businesses which they have to run as a CEO or uh, as a managing partner of the company. They have lots of endorsements. They have lots of um, appearances, media appearances. And at the same time, they also have to travel a lot. And then they have their personal family lives and they also have their movies. So when they are juggling so many balls, it becomes relatively very hard for them to sit in one place, have uh, uh, a normal life or normal routine. So <clears throat> for the people who travel and most of you uneducated fans, I'm sure you don't. For those of you who do travel, you'd understand that once you travel to a new place, the food is different, the environment is different. You don't actually feel like going in the gym and pumping iron. At least I find it very hard when I'm not in the when I'm not in my comfort zone. And in order to uh, work out in the gym, you need to be focused. You need to really be disciplined. You need, really need to have the intensity. And not only that, the most important thing is uh, the age factor. Now, once you cross 30, your body doesn't respond the way it used to respond when you're 20. When you're 20, you don't need to do warm up. You can just lift very heavy weights and your joints and your muscles hold up. However, when you cross 30, your joints start paining. And then when you cross 35, your, your whole body starts aching when you do exercise. And in order to build a physique like Shah Rukh Khan, even, uh, even though he looks smaller in size, you need to really be very intense. And it is not physically possible. It is just not possible for them to take a natural lifestyle. So if you look, for example, if you look at Shah Rukh Khan's face, look at his face when he was young and look at his face now, you notice there is no hair loss at all. So is that natural? There is no, uh, he doesn't, uh, his face, his chin, his nose, his cheeks, everything is so perfect. Uh, is that natural? Then you look at Salman Khan, he's not losing any hair. Uh, he's not having any facial, uh, uh, you know, problems. Look at a normal, natural 50 year old, even a person who maintains themselves, they can't maintain themselves to such an extent. Look at uh, Amir Khan, look at his face. So. When their, their faces, uh, they don't show, uh, it doesn't seem to be aging much. How come their bodies are not aging? So the fact of the matter is pretty simple. If you have such a busy lifestyle, if you have so many balls to juggle, if you are so busy, you keep traveling, your body is aging. The only simple thing to do is make your life easier. And they have the money. They have tons and loads of money. Shah Rukh Khan is the second richest actor in the world. He can afford to get the best human growth hormone in the market naturally shipped to him internationally with no customs, with no checking, or you can go there and get a three month cycle done. I mean, uh, you know, they can afford to do that because they deserve it. And yes, you can't expect Shah Rukh Khan to have a pot belly, 
uh, Salman Khan to start being bald and Amir Khan to start looking wrinkly and start earning fans. The media, the public and uh, the, the legions of fans want them to look perfect and that is how they run their business. So, if you honestly ask me, the fact is very clear. Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, Amir Khan, all the actors, um, they do take steroids. Uh, they do take all these uh, uh, um, substances which help their body to grow. It's, it's not wrong. I don't say it's wrong. It's nothing wrong because they're, they're not harming anyone. They're not hurting anyone. They're not drinking, smoking, doing drugs. They're doing it to maintain themselves because they're aging. So as far as they're using it, I, I don't think they're doing anything wrong. As far as them looking good, it's great because they are disciplined, they are working hard and they deserve to use it because why make your life miserable and hard when you can make it easier? It's like somebody, uh, why should they suffer 12 hours in the gym when they can just do around 10 to 15 minutes and look as good as someone who is doing 12 hours. So uh, it's nothing wrong. However, for legions of uneducated fans to think oh they are doing it naturally because he's eating potatoes and he's eating only protein he's eating fresh chicken every day or uh, he is training very hard in the gym come on they are far more intelligent smarter than you and but the reason why they'll never admit the reason why they never admit is because the world has this opinion that steroids is bad so they would lose their endorsement which is which comes to millions the uh, you know Shah Rukh Khan is worth 600 million US dollars Salman Khan uh, how how much is he worth it's not mentioned here but uh, you know his his movies earn around 16 million US dollars and he has quite a number of endorsements even here in the GCC Middle East so they would lose all this all this uh, if they were to go on a natural lifestyle and you know their body is aged man come on give them a break they deserve to you know make their life easier. So, having said that, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan and Amir Khan and all the actors, uh, it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong. You guys are doing a great job. You guys are disciplined. You guys are, um, you know, quintessential, the epitome of what success is in the movie industry. I, I, I admire you guys, uh, although I don't admire most of the movies of Salman Khan and uh, Shah Rukh Khan, which I think suck. But then again, he, um, these guys don't do movies for intellects. They do movies for an uneducated public that is based in India who likes jumping from buildings and, uh, you know, hitting 20 guys with one single punch and singing and dancing with no storylines. So, um, I just feel that um, uh, the uneducated public should, should be aware that all these actors, all these actors and actresses, they do take these means and methods, which is okay because everyone takes them, uh, at least all the uh, actors, actresses, they don't live a natural lifestyle. It, it's a very tough, it's a very tough uh, choice they make and, um, you know, respect to them because uh, they are really trying their level best to live a very stressful life. So having said that, I would just want the uneducated people to know that unless you, uh, uh, you know, take steroids, uh, you are not going to look like that at 50, no way naturally impossible uh, if there might be one in a million otherwise um, you, you, you're, you're just uh, fooling yourself so live from livemacedo.com and who's livemacedo.com this is my opinion okay although i don't have like evidence secret evidence of my opinion so if you have a different opinion i'd love to hear it and uh, for those idiots uh, who are diehard fans of the, uh, these guys please feel free to abuse me I don't care. I don't give a damn. You can comment about my tattoos, about my ink, about my bald head, about my father, mother, and everyone else. Um, anyway, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't bother me. Live from livemacedo.com and who's livemacedo.com. Love to hear your views. Let me know what you think. Goodbye.